Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So um, you guys know I do a lot of hauls and you see what's coming into my house. So I've decided to start a new uh, video series here on my channel, uh, the Declutter Diaries. So I'm going to start with um, some clothes. This is going to be part one of a three part video of my clothes declutter because they're going to be about 30 minutes long each. So that's going to be about an hour and a half. So part one, I have a great big massive pile here that is going to go. And just to document, because I use my YouTube as an online diary, to document what leaves my house and also for you guys to see that I actually get rid of stuff and I'm not a hoarder. So yeah, so we're going to crack into it. So depending on what time it is, wherever you are, I suggest you get yourself a drink and a plate of sandwiches because this is going to be half hour. It's like, just pretend you're watching EastEnders. So yeah, first thing, getting rid of, I'm going to go read through these clothes really quick. Um... There's this little denim vest with patches. I did buy it to do a look. I didn't do the look with it, so it has to go. Um, I bought this vesting from TK Maxx last year. I have um, worn it in a few videos. have worn it in pictures. I'm the sort of thing person that doesn't like to wear prints over and over again. Some white jeans I did buy to do a 90s look, which I did do the look. Um, if you got me on Facebook, you would have seen these super dry jeans with the slats. I did do a look with these. Um, so yeah, they did their purpose. These baggy Levi jeans. I did a 90s um, all the young dudes look from like Clueless with those. Um, these Ford work trousers. I did like a sub kid rave sort of look with that. Um, there's a Terminator t shirt, which obviously, because it has a graphic, I can't keep wearing those things. I like things to be plain that I can just put a pop of colour with accessory. I'll talk about accessories. Here's a scarf. Here's a little bandana or neckerchief. There's another scarf with beads. As I said, it did its purpose. I bought this last year, this velvet dress with the lace. Uh, this also worked its purpose. I did like a fairy cottage core fit with that. Um, I did a 90s rave sort of idea with this smiley face cardigan. I did a posh goth, like corporate goth Chanel with this number. So, served its purpose. This is a little cape. I did like a little Red Riding Hood type outfit with that. I'd put like a red mesh thing underneath it. A little handbag, which I no longer use. This little jacket proved its purpose. I did an Eddie from Abfab look with this. Um, leather biker trousers. Um, I would have kept these. They're a perfect fit in the waist, but the legs are too small. I used to chuck them into boots. I did like a Mad Max type look with those. And then these ones are the ones I used for a Terminator outfit. I didn't really get around to doing a look with this, but I did wear it for a few pictures on Facebook because it feels a little snug around the belly off. So yeah, someone else can enjoy it. I did a look with this red shirt. I wore um, a satanic t-shirt underneath and just because this was nice and red even though it's showing orange worked out quite well this little sports top which is a little adidas number i wore for layering in the winter that's just gone um but yeah it is actually like it fits really tight and then this little jacket thing silky it's very thick it's very hot even in the winter. 
otherwise I would have kept it. So even like with a jumper underneath or a hoodie, it was too hot and it's definitely going to be too hot for like the warmer weather. This I used for a look. I did it actually, I did actually do two looks with this. I did, you can't really see. It's a really cute, the shoulder things. I did a Michael Jackson look and I also did a Goldie Horn look from the movie Overboard. The purple scarf that I did a hippie Wiccan sort of look. I put it around my hair when I had blue hair. I've actually had this for about four years. And this one I've had for about eight years. I did like a glam rock look, um, Monty Crew, poison sort of thing. It went around my hair, it hung off my leathers. So yeah, it's definitely had juice. Um, these Adidas little trousers, they're really short, but I did somewhat of a Kevin Cosner golf look with this and like um, Argyle sweater vesting. And then I also did a John Holmes, you know the pictures that are on the internet without his underwear, with these two, so they serve their purpose. Um, this I bought around the winter, the end of the winter or the beginning of this year. Because I love the pattern, it's too small for me. Um, I'm not sure where it's from or if this is a character from somewhere. Um, this is a scarf that I wore once back in the autumn. I did buy last year from the car boot. I'm not going to use it again. This is a velvet shirt. It's by Lee Cooper, so it's very 90s. Um, I've had quite a bit of wear out of this. I think I bought it a couple of years ago. Um, I'm not going to wear it that often. Um, some little camouflage swim shorts, which I actually cut the net out of. Um, because I wanted to layer them with some tight, tight things. And then these little... Adidas little short things that I also cut the net out of. <clears throat> These leather jogging bottoms, they feel a little short for me. They're by that brand. They did come with like an extra long leather t-shirt which I wear so I'm keeping. Um, I did a Kenya West look. Um, my favourite cider, Strongbow, and this was like one of their Halloween promotional tees, which was tight at the best of times. Ooh. This is a day of the dead that I cropped the top off, like took the collar off. It's had a lot of wear. It's been in many, many pictures from my Facebook. And then we have like this little turtleneck sweater, which I didn't wear because it seemed a little short. Oh, here's one that I did wear quite a lot through the winter and early this year. So yeah. And this was an also one that I wore quite a lot the past couple of years. It's just a cheap, um, ASOS little knitwear. Um, you wear, might have saw this in my putting up the Christmas tree video. I wore this and I think it was my baggy leather jeans, which I'm tempting to get rid of those because those are way too big. Um, I have wore this in a video, but I think these slits are too low. So I had to like wear a net thing underneath. Now, my Shara Cole, Fight For This Love. I didn't do a video in this. I didn't even take any pictures in it due to the fact that I didn't feel comfortable in it. It has got a hat somewhere, but I think that's in the other bags because I have like over 27 black bags. I've counted. I've opened two because I am going to do like the declutter videos. And then this with the orange inside. Distressed. This is kind of cute. I was tempted to keep it, but I have like two others that are similar. So I think, you know, just get rid, to be honest. Hope someone else enjoys it. Um, 
do we have here? Oh, I wore this a few times. I'm not sure if I wore it in a video. I might have wore it in a mukbang. But I did wear it in some Facebook pictures. I wore this once. Um, little shirt thing. It was so, like, scratchy. I've wore this in a couple of videos. I've also worn it in some Facebook pictures. I like this colour, but I don't like the way it fits me. Um, yeah, I've worn it a few times. It's a River Island piece. But yeah. I like this, but also, again, I don't like the way the sleeves fit. It's like a velvety little zip-up jacket. Really cute. Uh, Shimmy cast that was bought quite recent. I wore it once. As again, I don't like the way the shoulders fit. And I don't like how short the sleeves are on me because I like them longer than usual, if that makes sense. Now I bought these stretchy, almost like a rubbery um, skinnies last summer from the car boot sale. And I did wear them a couple of times last summer. Um, and surprisingly, they didn't even get hot. So it's like, yeah. And I think these originally would have came from like Primark. This I bought around October time. It's too small for me. It's really cute though. I'm not going to hang on to it because um, I have so many clothes. As you guys will see throughout these three videos that I'm going to be making. Now, this I bought to do a look, which I did. I did a Brittany Murphy look. Uh, that scene when she comes in Clueless. She could be a farmer in those clothes. But actually, back in 95, Nirvana and all that, um, the grunge look was actually in. So, Toy's character was actually spot on for the time. Like the way she was dressed. But yeah, someone else can... Do their tie, and then this little stretchy uh, long sleeve. I wore loads and loads of times. I have so many similar ones, <laughs> and then this, which I actually dyed. It was really light green. I dyed it with black dye twice, and it just went dark green. I took the sleeves off, and um, never actually worn it, even after spending all the money to dye it, and then cut the sleeves off, and then. And the edges, so I hope someone gets a little use out of it. This I bought, I know it's purple, but I wanted to do like a Damien from Mean Girls. I want my pink shirt back, sort of look with that. And then this I didn't wear because it's very, very itchy. It's a um, boho. Little like mesh thing, it's gold and black. I like the colours, but it's just so scratchy. And I also didn't wear these super fake Louis Vuitton shorts because I didn't like the way they fitted. Whew. So yeah, how are we doing for time? And this you may have saw. I did my, this is a vintage handmade long velvet gown. You can have it up or you can have it off the shoulder. I did my Nancy from the craft look with this. I was considering keeping it, but I thought, you know, it's been hung up for about three years and I'm not going to get any use. There might be some other little witch out there that might want it. And then we have this little jacket and fluffy inside it's just a little hoodie thing that I wore loads and loads and loads of times but I just can't wear it again I just don't want it this is like a reversible the outside is this um stuff and the inside is that but you can actually reverse it and yeah it's really cool cute and you can like taper in the waist that has zippers on the pockets the only thing I don't like it's like the elastic on here, like on the sleeve, seem to be overstretched. But otherwise, it's quite nice. Ooh. And then I wore these in an outfit for the first time a few months ago when I first bagged the stuff up 
They're not for me, the mustard colour. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought them. Um, then we have a black hoodie. That was a River Island one, as I said. It's, it seems a little small, I like hoodies oversized. And then we have, look at this, the black fluffy scarf. Then we have this top, has little zippers. And it's by that brand. Really, really cute. But yeah, as I said, I've worn it loads of times. Can't see me wearing it again, to be honest. And then this, I've worn a few times. I think I've worn it in. In my old videos that I uploaded, I've uploaded some really um, old ones. I think it's worn in there, but it has been worn in loads of pictures. And these leathers, which I bought off Facebook last year, that I was going to spray silver or red, which I never got around to. And I haven't worn them in any pictures or anything. Right, I've got that out of the way. I want to pause you real quick whilst I get the others in front of me. Hey guys, so I'm back. So I just took the other bits out of the bag. So I'm just showing you because I'm going to be rebagging them. So I have found an online service that I'm going to be using um, for pickup, which helps different charities. So this costume, this little jumpsuit that I paid 10p for, I actually used it to do an Eddie from our fab look when she had to do community service. And then this little jacket has a little zipper and everything. It's really cute. I also use this to do an Eddie one. I think the, the episode that I did this for it was from season five. Um, but yeah, this I really like but it's way too big even with layering i had like a t-shirt a jumper like three layers underneath and this on top and it was still big but otherwise i would have kept it and there we have <clears throat> this little amani shirt i brought i actually did a look as i said i did a john holmes john hames i should say john holmes the porn star look with that I also wore this a few times, this little Adidas number um, I did a look with. So I buy crude things for looks, I don't necessarily keep them for my own um, wardrobe. Then we've got these little skinny Levi's. These are extra, extra skinny on me. Um, but yeah, I like the wash, the very 80s. And then these I bought in the winter from Pep and Co. Um, they've served their purpose. This I didn't actually wear. I bought it to do like a jack-o'-lantern look, but I didn't get around to doing it. Halloween that's gone. And with it being orange, it's not a colour that I wear daily. I would only worn it like for Halloween weekend. But yeah. And this I bought about five years ago, never worn it, never even tried it on. This long, it's really cute. I was going to do a sort of really priest-esque sort of look with this. But yeah, I'm considering keeping it. But as I said, I've kept it for about four, five years and not used it. Now, this little blingy number by that brand has blings on the collar and bling on the bottom and the cute little blingy buttons. Christmas 2019, I wore this Christmas day with leather trousers and this. I was blinged up, you know, I was having my, you know, having my little blingy moment, my Jennifer Tilly Christmas, but yeah. So that's that little blingy number. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this in the donation bag. I'm going to try and sell this online. But yeah, it's definitely going. 
And then we have this blazer, 90s, early 2000s. It's a um, Ben Sherman one. I did wear it for a look. I did like a smart business, casual business goth sort of look with it. But it's not something that I would keep because I have a vintage blazer that I've got all my pins and stuff on. If you got me on Facebook, you would have saw. Now this is a cropped hoodie, which I didn't wear because if it had been like a normal size instead of being cropped, I would have definitely kept it. I love the corseted sleeves. It's a DKNY. I was going to do like an Eddie look, but I would have kept this in my personal wardrobe if it hadn't have been cropped. And there we have some loose fit trousers. These are vintage. Um, Versace. So I'm not sure I might list those. Then we have this, this which is a little tight on me. Was I bought it to do like a punk look, a skinhead, spoohoo. But yeah. And then we have this one. This one actually has like real leather sleeves. Um yeah see with these little coats the way they fit like bomber jackets i don't like the way they actually fit and i bought this and i've actually worn it quite a few times i love the way it fits but i'm not sure you know that i am going to wear it again and with that bomber jacket being said there's this fake leather one from asos um yeah, I added like an O-ring on that zipper and added like a little keychain on there. This actually fits kind of cute, but as I said, I have three or four similar ones to this already. And then we have this silk scarf, which I did this around my waist to keep like between the shirt being tucked in and the top of the trousers somewhat tied it really tight and it looks kind of sensible it looked really cute and then this i bought a couple of years ago off facebook this puffer jacket which is like a fake leather it's by supply and demand um yeah i actually wore it quite a few times but um the last year or so it's not been worn and yeah needs to get gone and then we have this red leather biker jacket well not leather it's like a fake leather but it looks more like a shiny pvc rubber this fits me i'll show you what i mean look it's a perfect fit in the arms but zipping it up it's like it's so hard to zip it up, it's fine if I would have kept it open, but I can't zip it up. If I kept it open, because the zip's way over here, but if the zip had been like a normal jacket zip, I would have definitely kept this, because I really like the red. Reminds me of a red trench coat that my friend Marcus used to throw. Yeah. So yeah, that was two bin bags. What time are we on? We're on like 24 minutes. I was expecting these videos to be at least half hour long, like half hour long. But that's two. I could have opened another one, but it's going to go over half hour. And with being done on my phone, it's going to, you know, it take ages to upload. But yes, that's part one of my declutter videos. If you like these videos and you want to see part two, please leave me a comment because I am going to do the rest of the clothes like in under the two parts. If you have any suggestions for other declutter videos, because obviously I have decluttered a lot over lockdown because we've all had this time on our hands. And I've got rid of loads and loads of DVDs. I got rid of over 700. I wish I'd actually filmed a DVD declutter. So you guys know I buy loads because I don't do TV and I only watch DVDs. So yeah 
But yes, that is a big pile of clothes. I've got those out of two bin bags. I don't know how I got them in two bin bags because it looks to me like it would take four now that I've looked at it. But yes. So part one done. <laughs> now I need to pick it all up and put it back in a bag. Until next time, take care of you guys. Oh, let me show you this little necklace. I bought this little necklace today from the charity shop because I went to run a few errands. It was two pounds. How cute. And I also bought, let me show you whilst I've got you on camera. I'm using my bag that I got from the car boot sale. And I also bought a film uh, that I've been after. This one, it has the singer Pink in it. There she is down there. So yeah, I've been after that, that was 50p. And then because you guys know that I collect um, cute little vintage bottles, I found this one. I'm not sure what scent it is, but the bottle's so cute. I haven't smelt it though. I'm gonna keep the bottle, that's what I bought it for. Let's just have a little tester. Oh, it smells okay. It smells a little bit musty. But as I said, I bought it for the bottle. Yay. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go and see you in part two. Bye, guys. I love all you guys. Take care of you.